something that was very for for me and I think for for most of the the ladies that were the the my daughters that were walking with me felt the same way that there was a lot of apathy there was a lot of uh, uh, people just not really understanding what we were doing and they were making fun of us that it was when you're walking when you're tired and people are, are hooting making these uh, war hoop war hoop sounds to us while we're walking and they drive by and, and you'd hear those uh, uh, those calls and some of them would even call us crazy you know the crazy Indians we had two people uh, uh, when we went for coffee went to when it ran into the restaurant to go and get some coffee and they called us you know they told us we were crazy you know yeah uh, and of course we did admit we're crazy anybody that's sane wouldn't be doing what we're doing <laughs> so we did admit we were crazy so it was very difficult in in terms of uh, and on, on two occasions uh, uh, when I was walking uh, with these two with, with the young the young men that I that usually walk with me uh, there was uh, vehicles on two separate occasions vehicles would come by and they would yell get a job you know uh, you'd almost want to yell back and say you know I'm 66 years old I've worked you know most of my life all of my life and uh, you know I've never relied on, on anybody to uh, to support me I've always supported myself and my family so it was a very difficult uh, walk that it, uh, it it hurts when when you hear you know people just don't understand what you're doing so we were uh, we got to Detroit and uh, walked across to Windsor and uh, and you see a difference a difference in uh, one of the young men said oh it's so good to be home uh, you know being in Ontario he was so glad to be home home in Ontario that uh, and then the walk started to to pick up a little bit lighter uh, knowing that we were almost reaching our destination so that and then uh, after Lake Erie we we realized that we said okay we've walked all the five Great Lakes but my sister who was always beside me said no we haven't we we didn't finish uh, Lake Michigan we didn't do the lower part of Michigan in 2004 so we said okay let's let's do it in 2008 so this year we, we did it we finished it and this year was a truly truly a remarkable uh, remarkable walk because of the of the uh, um, the information is flowing it, it's it just escalated from 2003 now to 2008 it's just uh, marvelous how people were were so open to to us in Chicago all the way around not just Chicago but all the way around lower lower Michigan how the reporters came the the mayors uh, Chicago mayor and uh, um, another another area Racine Racine mayor invited us to his office and and uh, declared May 5 as a uh, water mother earth water walk day for every year that it would be honored as a uh, water walk day so newspapers and uh, magazines uh, you know just people just uh, you know radio stations uh, we were heard down to down at Mexico a car pulled up when when we were walking through their through their territory car pulled up and they said we heard about you in uh, they were just excited to see us we heard about you in Mexico we just they were just driving in from Mexico and here we were they were just amazed and uh, they were so happy to see us that uh, they you know they all they were amazed that you know all this information is really reaching almost globally and uh, so it was it was truly a quite a quite an experience to uh, to see that you know to see that uh, finally people are starting to wake up they're not fully awake yet there's a lot that needs to be done yet with the garbage the plastic uh, plastic bottles of water plastic bottles laying around plastic bags laying around on the ground because my grandmother's always said you know if you put something in plastic it's going to die and if you wrap yourself in a plastic bag how long are you going to last you're not going to be able to breathe it's the same with any elements like water water can't breathe in plastic so it dies and then it decays and it turns moldy and then you're drinking moldy water in the plastic bottles so there's so much we've learned along the way and we've experienced that uh, that moldy water in Lake Huron 
when we were drinking moldy water that uh, from the plastic bottles that we were drinking so we ever since then I have not touched the uh, water in in plastic I always get my water from the tap or from spring water wherever I know in where when my travels if I know there's spring water I'll I always carry a, a container for my uh, for fresh water that that I when I travel with and so um, uh, the other thing that we've we've uh, came across in 2004 was uh, um, a book called Hidden Messages in Water that really cemented what we were saying all along that water is alive, water has feelings, water can can hear, water can 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 sense what what you're feeling, because when we walk around all the lakes, we sing for the water, we sing our water songs, we pray for the water, we give tobacco. Every stream we see a lake or, or even a little uh, a little creek, we, we stop and, and, and give it wa give it tobacco, and we pray for that water. And so um, Dr. Omoto um, did scientific research on on crystals of water, and how how he did his research was that he he proved in his research that water is alive, water can feel, water can hear, water can sense. All those things that 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 are in us as human beings, water can feel the same thing. So uh, um, it just helps to you know it makes it makes us feel good as women that uh, you know scientific research is proving what what we've been saying all along. And in our ceremonies here on on the grounds that we were here in on Madigan Lake, that uh, we do our water ceremonies every morning and we uh, acknowledge acknowledge the, the sky realm where the water comes from and uh, we we petition to the to the uh, the water to be blessed before we drink it we do that every morning i do that every morning anyway and it's good to have you know a bunch of people uh, share in that uh, in that in that uh, event of um, calling on the on the spirit for that water to be brought into the uh, into that water and then we drink it after it's been it's been uh, blessed and given its uh, spirit for the water. So that's uh, a little bit of, uh, there's so much that, you know, I could talk about uh, each each lake experience that, you know, with people and uh, how they've helped and uh, how they've not helped in terms of, uh, you know, really hurting our feelings. You know, there's there's been occasions where, but then it really helps when others other people come, the good people, and it's always the the poor people that come and uh, help out. We bring us sandwiches, uh, 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 you know, boxes of uh, uh, chips and and hamburgers, you know. They, and it really, really warms your heart to know that there are caring people. They see us walking and they come and and give us donations because this is all is work that's coming out of our pockets. It's not we don't rely on any any funding to to do what we're doing. It's all from from the heart. And uh, because it came from the heart, the spirit came to came to to us women to to do our work. And so when it, how it all began, it all began from uh, from a, a gathering in uh, Pipestone when when I heard another message from from our Grand Chief Eddie Benton talk about the the water in 2000 and uh, uh, the, it was the year 2000 when he talked about. It. He said 30 years from now water is going to cost the same as an ounce of gold if uh, people continue with their negligence. And every time you hear prophecy, there's always a hope in that. And that little word, if, if is what I, I, I bore in my mind. I kept that in my mind. If we continue with our negligence, what's the, 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 the flip side of that? We, we, can, we can help, we can put away that uh, that negligence and, and turn it around that we can do something and uh, and redo the negligence that we've been doing and so that that's the the crux of how how this all started that we started to talk to other women about it and uh, 